Jurors watched closely as photos of Sam DeBose's head wounds were shown on a large monitor that sits about 15 feet away from the jury box. I was in the courtroom watching the jury watch the photos. The 12 men and women deciding Ray Tenzing's fate stared at the monitor and expressed little emotion. But some members of the DeBose family decided to step outside knowing the images would be graphic and painful. I didn't stay in the room because I knew that I would be uh, very verbal and the judge indicated that if we were going to be in there and make some noise, it could possibly lead to a mistrial, so I chose to leave out. Sam DeBose's sister, Tarina Allen, also stayed away. No, no, I didn't watch that. I can, I'm just barely getting back to regular functioning, thinking about the, butt, the shot in the head. I don't want to see what those pictures. I left the room. After Dr. Lohman testified, the prosecution rested its case. That minute was defense attorney Stu Matthews' turn to try to convince the jury Ray Tenzing fired his gun because he feared for his life. Sam DeBose's loved ones are confident with where things stand. They have nothing to work with and that we're looking at a guilty man. I feel very good about the prosecution's case. I feel very confident. I, I think that if the case is, which they said it was, a purpose for killing that was unjustified, at this point, we've proven that it was unjustified. Tenzing needs to prove it was. Well, you can follow, follow the developments in this uh, case in the courtroom on WWT.com. We're live streaming the trial each day. We're also tweeting updates throughout the day. Just look for the handle at WWT. Reporting live downtown, Todd Dykes, News 5.